One of the things that excites a lot of people about Star Citizen is the potential to explore the stars, see new sights, and find things hitherto undiscovered. But what might that actually look like from a gameplay perspective when scaled up to hundreds of thousands of players in an MMO? I'm Farrister, and this video examines the present whilst pondering and predicting the possibilities of an exploration future in Star Citizen. Clearly, until the game is further on in development, a lot of this will be speculative, and to some extent is just the considered ramblings of somebody who has been interested in the game for a while, but hopefully that raises some interesting conversation points that we can, pardon the phrase, explore in the comments below. In terms of what exists within the game right now, there are a few things that could fall into an exploration category. The most obvious of those is literally just visiting places and seeing the sights for no other reason than to experience something new in-game. There's often no value in terms of credits, it's just something to tick off your bucket list. The variety of places in-game means that for somebody who has yet to experience Orison or Benny Henge, or the crashed javelin on Daymar, there are quite a few places to go out and admire. In game right now, there is also the opportunity to find rare things, whether that be uncommon loot, treasured fungibles, or valuable mineables, all of which potentially carry an in game credit value to them. It's by no means as lucrative or consistent as a credit earner as other gameplay loops, but it's theoretically possible. There are environments that present different levels of survival difficulty, ranging from needing to wear a spacesuit to needing heat or cold protection, but there's not a huge amount of complexity in that at the moment. Likewise, scanning is a limited gameplay element with some ability to adjust scans to find mineables, salvage, or other interesting things, but whilst possible, it's really not a fully fleshed out gameplay loop as yet. So what might the future hold? Well, more locations obviously means more places to get out and see. Discover might not be the best term because the past few years have shown that data mining often takes away the surprise for anything trying to hide in the background, but at least there could be more opportunities to see new things, and that's often a draw in itself. The testing of Pyro last year showed that many people are happy to experience somewhere new, so extra places to find and visit is likely something that will drive activity. So sometimes even when you know what you're likely to see, that's no substitute for actually experiencing it. We also know that there are jump points between star systems, and that this may create limited exploration gameplay. Personally, I don't expect a whole host of new jump points to be discovered. Ultimately, for a game where thousands of people could be exploring at any one time, that would just either create a lot of disappointment or a lot of complexity. But from time to time, there may be value in discovering new routes through existing jump points, or recalibrating them, and that might create gameplay opportunities for warp pioneers. Likewise, those who venture out into the black may be able to more easily monetize what they find, relaying the location of valuable ore for mining, or salvage to be done, or even map data to other players via a marketplace or through the mission system. That's a more exciting possibility, where players might organically make use of scanning gameplay in order to sustain them in-game. And that scanning gameplay could also develop further. What's in-game right now is just the bare bones of scanning, but with more complexity around EM, IR and cross-section, as well as the potential to equip some ships with specialist hardware like drones, there could be a gameplay art to actually finding things in the verse. And finally, CitizenCon 2953 told us that the aspirations for base building in the game are wider than perhaps first anticipated, so finding places for bases could be a useful role for explorers. Whether that's rooted in the resources available, or just a spot with a nice view, there may also be monetary value in seeking out strange new worlds. Exploration 
exploration often evokes a sense of discovery, of being the first to do something, to find something never before seen. But my gut feel for Star Citizen is that's unlikely to be the experience of most in-game explorers, and instead, most of the gameplay would surround scanning mechanics and finding valuable things within the known universe. But I'm just a regular player, no special knowledge, so maybe you think exploration might be something different, and I'll be very interested to read whether you agree or disagree in the video comments. As always, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel but would like YouTube to show you more videos like this, then you might want to press that button, and if you thought this video was interesting or thought-provoking, or maybe you just enjoyed looking at the shinies of planets, if so, pressing the like button will give me the prompt to make more videos like this in future. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.